Hello, I'm Robert Lanty from The Vocalist Studio. I'm the author and producer of a popular vocal technique training program. It's called The Four Pillars of Singing. It's a book and an online coursework system. And this is my How to Sing Like Bowie video that goes with the two performances that I did of some classic Bowie songs. I did Life on Mars and I did Space Oddity. Be sure to go out and take a look at them. Now, I wouldn't otherwise do David Bowie songs if I hadn't been asked here in Seattle for a special project to do David Bowie. Now, don't get me wrong, I think David Bowie is brilliant. I actually really enjoy the music, in particular the early Ziggy Stardust uh, content, which is fortunately what I was able to sing for this particular project. And um, I thought, well, since it came out so well, I would go ahead and add two points. I'd make this video and share with you guys two things about these performances that help make it sound a bit like David Bowie, all right? Number one, to get a good sort of David Bowie sound color, you do not want to typically dampen the larynx or, or get too much larynx manipulation involved. If you dampen the larynx and anchor too much, get too much musculature, belt musculature involved inside David Bowie, it can tend to um, get the larynx down and that in turn tends to make the sound color too dark, too warm, almost too sort of Iron Maiden belty, okay? Which is a great sound and I've done a lot of that in my career, but I understood that in order to get sort of a lighter, floatier, prettier David Bowie sound color, larynx manipulation or larynx dampening was not going to be the ticket. So you'll notice that when you watch me sing these songs, those of you that are familiar with my voice, it sounds a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit floatier. Well, that's, that's on purpose. And one of the main things that I did to keep it lighter, brighter, and floatier is to keep my larynx more in a neutral position and not, and not dampened. Now the other thing that really helps capture that David Bowie or maybe the illusion of a British uh, uh, artist singing is to take care on, on making the diction of the lyrics, I like to say, more persnickety or more detail oriented or using more Shakespearean finesse on the diction of your lyrics, the way you say your lyrics. For example, on Space Oddity, there's this lyric that goes like this. Ground control to Major Tom, take your protein pills and put your helmet on. All right? Now, if I were to just sort of sing that in normal American diction, it would be ground control to Major Tom, take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Now, a lot of people would sing it that way, but I'm here to tell you, if you sing it like that, it's a missed opportunity. It sounds sort of, it's not, it doesn't give the refinement that a David Bowie song needs. It might be great for country music or say something like Leonard Skinner or any number of other artists, but for David Bowie, I recognize it has to sound a little bit more articulate, a little bit more theatery, of course. For sure, the early David Bowie stuff was very theatery. So watch how I articulate all of the text in these two performances. But just for this video, instead of it being ground control to Major Tom, take your protein pills and put your helmet on, that sucks. Better to go ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Notice what I do with the tongue on the L's of pills and helmet. Take your protein pills. Don't take your pills. Take your pills, your pills. And don't put your helmet on. Put your helmet on. Put your helmet on. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. You see, it's a little more theatery. It's a little bit more Shakespearean, so to speak. Um, it's all helping to give the illusion that it's British 
and a little bit more refined. And I think it's just cool that way. So that's my advice for any of you that are doing David Bowie, in particular the early stuff. Don't try to get the larynx down. Go for a lighter, floatier sound color. And two, practice very sort of persnickety articulations. Really lean in on the tongue and, and, and be theatery with your articulations. That'll help you a lot to get some cool David Bowie. Now, go out and check out Life on Mars and Space Oddity. And if you enjoyed the video, um, be sure to subscribe. I'll be making and publishing a lot more videos as time goes by. And thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And you guys, if you have any questions about your singing or David Bowie or how to train, be sure to contact me because that's what I'm here for is to help you. Have a good day.